So the next problem we're going to face is when a screw breaks off flush with the wood and you have to try to get the screw remnants out or live with it and make it salvageable. So I have a setup here with two screws that have broken off at the surface of the wood. This one actually looks like there's a spot I might be able to get a skinny drill in there and start drilling down through the center of that. So I'm gonna try that approach first. So I took a smaller diameter screw than what the drill, than what the screw is, smaller diameter drill than what the screw is. And I'm gonna see if I can get lucky and get it to start. Okay, that was, that was lucky. I got lucky on this one. The drill actually started. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to, while it's drilling, slowly straighten up on it and try to get as straight down into the screw as I can. You can see that there are metal filings coming out. That's a good sign. Drills will typically not stay in the screw they will typically wander off to the side because the wood is a lot softer. And if the drill gets a chance to stray into the wood, then you're going to drill wood and leave the screw in place. As long as you're pulling out chunks of metal, keep, ah, there, see, we went into wood. Okay, so I was drilling this in. It went through a bunch of metal, and then it came out into wood. So if I brush this aside, I can see that I started here, but ran off to the side. So now I've got an option. This may be a situation where I can drill as close to and into the metal as possible, and then down alongside the wood, and I can put a screw in at a slight angle without getting the rest of the screw out of the way, and it may be good enough. Let's see if that works for us. I'm gonna try to get a little more of the metal out if I can. That's gonna be very hard. So my best bet is just to make a hole right next to it. And I'm going to make it even just a little bit deeper. So now I've got the remnants of this screw sticking up a little bit and a hole right next to it. So I have to get rid of that little bit of screw there. And I'm going to use the same tool I use to grind off the head. I'm going to take a grinding wheel and just grind that flush so that it doesn't get in the way of my putting the next screw in. Now that may look ugly, but in most cases, this type of salvage work is gonna be hidden, and I'll show you what I mean. Okay, so I've drilled my hole at a bit of an angle. I've cleaned off the wood, so I'm all set. I'm gonna see how effective this was. I'm gonna to try to install a piece of hardware. So I have drilled the hole based on the minor diameter of the screw, and now to put the screw in, I'm going to put a little bit of lubricant on it. I use chapstick or bliss stick. You can also use soap. But that puts just a little bit of lubricant on it. This is the hole that I repaired. So I'm going to put a bridge on it. Put my screw in. And on my drill, 
I've knocked it back down to low speed and I'm taking the torque setting that I had when it was on drill and I'm knocking it way down. On mine it's around a six that I'm setting on it so that I can hold it and not torque it off. That way I know I'm not going to over torque my screw and snap it. So this is not going to be straight. Let's see how well it sits even though it's at an angle. So even though that screw is coming in at an angle, it ends up finishing flush and no one would ever know that you had a screw up underneath it and there's a broken screw there. So we got lucky. That one was at a shallow enough angle that the screw head came down, sat into its bevel nicely and looks decent. You're not always going to get that lucky. Sometimes it's too much of an angle, it's too obvious, it just doesn't work. Then it's a little bit more difficult. That's what we're going to do next.